Okay, mate. Let's uh, yeah, whale alerts broken. I'm not sure what happened. That maybe they're trying to block it or something. I really don't know. Uh, ADA on the monthly possible stop hunts. Um, yeah, I mean it, it's a bearish stop hunt at this point. You, you know, technically, technically, uh, you, you could maybe maybe give the bearish argument here that this is a bearish stop hunt. Uh, price is bearish below this point right here. Um, that this could be a bearish deviation, and then you know maybe this might uh, be a bearish reversal, and and we want to drop back down. There definitely is that uh, potential that that we just need to be aware of. There on 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 the what is this? The USD tether. You can see that this break up on the USD tether. There was no real volume behind it um, on on a full monthly candle. Uh, but I, also again, there was no large selling volume. Um, but you know, above this pivot can often sometimes make a, a short term top. Well, when I see a short term top, it's a monthly chart. Um, so obviously that obviously means a potential longer period of time that it could um, take to kind of go back into the uptrend. But like w when you really look at the overall trend, there, there is nothing majorly wrong, right? Nothing majorly wrong. You can see that I have this alarm set here already um, at the top of this three month candle. You know what? Uh, what I wouldn't want to see on a new three months is a pierce here and a rejection. If if it fails there, it may give us a short opportunity to to see if this is actually going to uh, reverse back down. But of course, you know we need to trade the new month, the new sorry, the new quarter. Um, and if if we can get above this pivot here and stay in holding above this pivot there is a good chance that we could continue higher um i know there, there's this is a rejection candle in a way and this is also potentially a rejection candle so it, it's a tricky situation you know it's it's not clear cut there is rejections um there is um potential yeah rejections or whatever you want to call it it's not the strongest finish um but it definitely does not mean that it can't go higher Right, it, the, these situations can continue higher. These can be considered as bullish wicks in an uptrend, uh, in a way. Now I'll try and give you an example of this. Now you can see uh, Litecoin. We have a couple of examples, but we'll start on the left-hand side. For example, these are monthly candles, right? And you can you, you see this uptrend. It is in development, and you get these bullish wicks, bullish wicks, um, very, very almost identical to this. And then you get uh, a pierce higher uh, and create this bullish, sorry, bullish wicks in an uptrend, but you're above the 9 EMA. And then you get another topping candle, another bullish wick in an uptrend, and then price opens up again and just powers higher. And and against all odds and against, uh, you know, conventional wisdom or conventional thinking or whatever that, you know, these, these are topping signs and price should roll over. It, it continues, it, you know, it continues higher every single month and even he and even even this one uh even then when we reject it uh it ends up creating a range and basically this range right here uh well we we break out the top end of that range eventually so you know ada here six month candles it may look like a rejection but there's definitely no definitive thing to say that this is done um the only the only thing that I will say is on a six month candle here, you can see that we did have the largest volume in history and we did put in a bit of a rejection here above this. Um, but you could have also made the case that this happened right here, right? We, 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 um, we topped out above here on large volume, right? This was the largest volume in history and we kind of put in a top right here but price never actually dropped. It, it continued to go higher. So uh, another example is right here. Now again, you get you get these wicks, and you get you get a, a big bearish wick. Um, but but then again, it powers higher again and gives you another uh, bearish wick. Well, 
uh, you would think it's bearish wick, but, but bullish wicks in an uptrend that I like to call them, that you think the trend is over, but it just keeps going and you get more bullish wicks and more bullish wicks and, and you know, and it just keeps pushing, pushing and pushing. So that that's kind of the situation we're in. We need to be reactive uh, and on, a, on a new, well, this is the six month candle. We don't have a new six month candle yet. That'll be in, that'll be on a new year. Uh, but we really need to see, you know, and be reactive what actually happens uh, on over the next three months. You know, when you look at a yearly candle, the, 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 there's absolutely nothing wrong with this whatsoever. You know, next year, you, you could easily do this again, the same thing again. So, you know, short term, Bitcoin's bearish. Short term, there is rejections um, and, and, you know, there can be some pullbacks. I would just trade every quarter as it comes. If we are, if we flip green, you know, you need to be aware that this could continue higher. If we are red, then maybe we want to just pull back a little bit, and then we might actually form um, a, a candle like this, like a doji sort of candle, uh, where it, it kind of whips the longs about and whips the bears about and finishes somewhere in the middle come Christmas, and then come Christmas and the new year, we could then uh, continue higher. Uh, you know, in my opinion, I don't I don't see anything majorly wrong with our ADA. I, I think overall it's it's very strong. It's been one of the stronger coins. Um, but at this point, Bitcoin is, you know, being weakened and going to put pressure on this. I'm watching Bitcoin on my other screen here. And to me, it looks like it's going to break down again. I did post about it in the, in the BTC channel, but it looks like it's on the verge of a breakdown. So, yeah, I, I would... Uh, it is it is bearish short term in a way, you know. As you pointed out yourself, there is uh, a, t a potentially bearish month with a bearish deviation and a bearish stop point. Uh, so there could be more downside, but I think the overall trend, you know, it, it still looks intact. It is difficult to know how it's going to play out, but um, in the near term, yes, it, it's slightly bearish. But like overall, I, I think it's okay. I think the dips will be a buying opportunity. You know, it, yeah. if I'm honest, like I don't really like this bearish deviation uh, up here. It definitely could, you know, signal some, some downward pressure down here uh, and, and before moving back up or something, you know. It might want to move down into these moving averages and, and to run stops kind of below maybe this flat base. I don't like these flat bases. I, I, I like to see them. I like to see because there's a lot of stops under these. So I'd like to probably think that it would come back down here at some point to run these stops. But, you know, there's there's mixed signals all over this chart. Um, you know, you, you have a, a bullish stop hunt on a two week chart and we have a new two week candle in 17 hours again. You know, who's you know, what what if it does this? It might uh, you know, it might change everything. At this point, you know, overall, you have to say ADA has held up extremely strong. It's held up even better than Bitcoin. I do think, though, that if we break down below this green line, um, you know, that that's a bearish sign. See these, see this three, um, this th the three candles, the three pivots here. If we break down below that, it's it's not a great sign. It's a sign that this probably was then. A deviation above the, above the highs, and and we probably want to come down and run the stops down here.